Hola. So I have slipped away from Costa Rica and done a bit of a ninja run back to the US. There's some work going on in the background behind me. I'm in the country, I'm in a rural part of the US. So there's gonna be noise and there's gonna be things, but that's part of the charm. Michelle and I are applying for residency and there are quite a few documents that I need and that I need to get apostilled. And I could do it by mail, I could do it remotely, but just to save some time and headache, I'm just gonna try to do some of it while I'm here. There are a lot of new requirements now for travelers that I may not be able to meet and may never meet. I might be able to get a doctor's note, a letter from a doctor stating these reasons. And I'm not really gonna talk about that because that's not what this video is about. I'm trying to avoid the use of certain words, but I'm sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. I can't do it. I can't have it done. And that therefore I may never be able to travel back to the US if things continue to progress here with these restrictions and requirements. I may not be able to come back and do this stuff that I need to get done. So I'm gonna do it, get it done, go back to Costa Rica and hopefully that will kind of end the border runs for me. I do have a disability. I don't talk about it a lot, especially here on this channel, but I have lupus and dysautonomia and cardiac issues and rheumatoid arthritis. It's all autoimmune stuff. And that would sort of contraindicate <laughs> I know there's different arguments in different camps, but just, you know, I, but anyway, that's how I'm in Costa Rica and why I'm in Costa Rica. One of the main motivating factors for me to live in Costa Rica was that the climate will be very good for me. And I was not wrong. Uh, I've seen a lot of health benefits since I've lived there. It's not just the, the weight from all the steroids and, and things that I've had to take over the years. And I did have some oral chemotherapy treatments and, and some things like that I'm still trying to recover from. They were successful, they not leave this back enough that it wasn't gonna kill me. So I'm enjoying a pretty good quality of life. I can't do things that other people do, but I live around that and I enjoy things around those limitations. But anyhow, what this video is about is this caboose behind me. It's an old chassis caboose that has been renovated and converted into a tiny home. I'm not disclosing the location because this is not a rental, it's not an Airbnb. This is a private guest house on private land and I get to stay in it when I come, but I am gonna share it with you. It's really cool and maybe other tiny house people or people with cabooses, even schooly people like myself may get some inspiration and motivation from the way they did it. So without further yap from me, let's go have a look. Remember how it started I was lost in a dream When the fire in my heart said An open rose I've already found some light The feeling grows And anything sounds alright I'm breaking loose
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of our journey here in Costa Rica, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when we upload something new. By all means, talk to us in the comments. We love hearing from you.